What's cracking, boys and my ladies? It is Ren Creates, and today I'm going to bring you guys a video on not only on how to defeat the Bloodhound Knight that is in the Crystal Tunnel we're going to be going over into, but also to get Laurentia's Ash Summons and also get the two Mandalian halves to the Secret Lift of Rod entrance or more um, option. But with all of that being out of the way, let's get into today's video. So. Here we are in the Lakes of Larunia. I've kind of made my way from it. Bit of lag there, but I've kind of made my way from the Converted Tower. And we're going to make our way down underneath here from the Cathedral Mincelis and the Moonlight Altar. Now, you'll know you're in the right place because you're going to go underneath the cliff and there's going to be a weird kind of water change. Oh, I'm fat rolling, okay. Anyways, come over here to this barrel. Or this, um, here, jar and roll. Badoom, the right half of it. The Hagley Secret Mendalian. Indeed we shall, so... From here, we actually don't have to go too far to make it to the Crystal Cave. Um, okay, so now from here, we have to make our way all the way to the right. It's going to be around this area here that there's going to be the Lakeside Crystal Cave. So I'm going to quickly speed that up so you guys can see it. Yeah, don't it. Really? No way. There she is. Okay, so it's from here. So you would go from here, and then you're just going to keep following to the right until you find this like side, and then you go inside. Um, take off blides just for now. So this, uh, so um, this area is not too hard. Thankfully, you can pretty much skip all the enemies and it drop right down. Nice chest to welcome us as a nice thank you gift for making it here, which is always nice. I like free gifts, so we'll open that. Do do do. Arteria leaf. So this area can be a bit weird to navigate, but I'll make my way through it to show you guys what's up. Rude. Yeah, <laughs> I actually had the Bloodhound set, but, um, actually, yeah, we're going with this, Bloodhound v Bloodhound, so, if you have the summon, he likes to do this, um, he mostly does do swings, he procs bleed, he basically is just like me. I don't ever recommend playing defensively with him, just learn how to dodge his attacks. His attacks are delayed on purpose, so if you actually don't know how to fight him. Okay. Why don't we get a bit offensive here, we'll practice bleed, you've pissed me off for the last time. It's very important to note that his um, attacks are like Murgits, they are delayed. 
If you stay away from his attacks, you should do just fine. But I do enough damage just to practice bleed like so. So there we go. And the Cerulean Medallion is yours. Um, he can be very tough for a beginner. Absolutely. But that's how you beat him. So make your way out here. Um, the only real other like thing I can tell you is to memorize his moveset. Remember, his swings are a tad bit delayed on purpose to catch you. So don't roll spam. He has... You saw him do the, when he does that um, away attack, like the Bloodhound step, what you want to do is wait until he's back in, you want to wait until he's visible again, and then you want to dodge a second after he's visible, and then you just dodge like usual, you can also back away, but anyways, we're going to make our way over here to her with her wolf. And with that, she disappears and turns into her Ash Spirit Summon. Indeed, so there is how you get her Spirit Ash Summon. A cool little tribute to the um, side quest itself. Latena, the Albarunic. She is very interesting. I don't think she has any type of special abilities like Deneth, who can power up when um, she's summoned, but. Ah, she comes with a disadvantage, so she cannot move from where she's summoned. But we're gonna go here. And before we actually move out, come over here. Give. Treat yourself to this item, Rune Arch. Very good to have. So now we're gonna go all the way up to the mountains. We gotta go to um, Castle Soul. Castle Soul, um, if you guys watch my How to Make an Overpowered Bleed Arcane build with the Reduvia, which is the build, which is the build I'm using right now, and get yourself the Raging Wolf set, which... Oh, hello, but anyways, yeah. And get yourself the Raging Wolf set, which I do have here. Um... Definitely check that video out, but for right now, we're gonna actually teach you guys how to get through this area, because this area can be killer if you are new. And shut up, turtle. Let's go, baby. Yeah. No. Wow, you look cool. Why don't you get the hell away from me? Boss time. Alright, that boy has been down. Holy crap a moly. Do not do him under leveled. Do not do him under leveled. Have a very strong sum with- Ooh, I can actually level up. Let me level up my dex. Right. McQuellia! My waifu! But anyways... Now that we've done that, my friends, join me as we go to the Grand Lift of Road, which isn't this way, it's this way. But now we're in the Forbidden Lands. What we can do in Forbidden Lands. The Grand Lift of Road, come over here, and instead of just activating the um, Talisman as usual, switch your um, action so you can hoist a secret medallion and then hold up that. Oh, friends. Do it like that. It should be a grace. I don't know if it was on the other side or not, but nope. Make your way here. This should be a catacombs, I believe. But yeah, this is how to get into the hidden path of the Halgly tree, which... 
Sikamakria. Interesting, but yeah. Um, that is how to get here. From here, there's quite a bit you can do. I won't spoil all of- I'm actually not spoil any of it, but you are going to want to stay tuned for that. So yeah, this is how to get the, um, Haglatree Medallion, both the right and the left tab. This is the full tutorial. I hope that this did help you guys out. If it did, make sure to leave a like on the video. Always appreciate it. And subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you guys can join me on my editing journey. As there's quite a bit to do here, and this area can be a bit tough, so you might want that type of information to give yourself an edge in battle. But, yo guys, Dr. Patches Jr. wanted to be coming at me, but we're going to quickly wrap this up. Check out my email list, or add me to your email list if you haven't already, so that um, you guys can... Or for any of you guys that do use your email list, it's very important and very effective. But also make sure to follow my other socials, and just in case, make sure to join the journey through the lines between by checking out my Elden Ring playlist which it's pretty awesome we have tons of videos out even within like the first two weeks of the game's release so make sure to go and check that out too but until next time rise my fellow tarnished and brandish thine elden ring